hello party people. At the uh, the infamous dead end, right? It's having uh, some my Thai milk tea. I'm uh, I'm working on a collab with uh, the Whale Tea. I'm not sure if you guys know that place. It's, it's the only problem is it's a franchise, so it's like a little bit more corporate. And I think um. I think Ice and Fire only had that one location. I should find out, but that's, that's all I know so far. Um, yeah, uh, collab collabs are fun. I mean, like, um, I, I I could do more if I actually put myself out there, but like, I I don't, so I don't want to tell you about that. Uh, I'll just give you guys uh, with my trusty uh, hand. Um, I forgot the name. Hand tripod. Yeah, this is where I'm at right now. Kind of nice, right? Kind of quiet. Kind of a strange man sitting down over there. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a strange man sitting up here too. Yeah. Um, yeah. Did I, did I tell you guys a story? Right? One of my boys and I, we were like chilling there, right? This lady starts taking pictures of us from like far away the funny thing is i was gonna start taking pictures of her right but we we're trying to get the fuck out of there and this lady's house literally like the fucking house is right behind me y'all it had like floor to ceiling glass windows right so i was about to take pictures of this lady and she's living in the glass house I don't, if i have to if i if i have to explain to you the analogy then i don't know what to tell you Good. people living in glass houses man but no honestly um I think uh I think it's scary that um majority of Saturday and Sunday I just uh I just kind of shut down I mean um I um all I can really say about it is that um even with treatment like with any mood disorder, um, it's, it's not a care, it's treatment. And things are gonna happen, you know, like, so the logical answer is, you know, why take the medicine unless it was supposed to help with that? Like I said, it's not a fucking care, man. Like, things are gonna happen. Like, a lot of stuff that happens to people with mood disorders is situational. And, um, for example, when you disrupt their equilibrium, so to speak, their their life balance. Uh, like, like, think about it. Like, for example, if you knew someone that died recently, someone that was close to you, right? And you, it's logical you would start feeling sad. Now, that's not because the medicine isn't working. It's because life is shitty at that time, and that's gonna happen. And I don't know what to tell people about that. Like, shit happens. I mean, like, pe people are gonna die. Like, people, um, people are gonna go away. People are gonna move away. People are gonna go to greener pastures as I am touching grass at the moment. Is that what that means when I touch grass? That means I go outside. Is that what that means? I kind of like this hat, right? Because, um, this is very similar to uh to Finster's going out gear because um no obviously like I don't think he wants to be recognized but at the same time he just doesn't want any trouble you know like that's as soon as he opens his mouth that's gonna happen basically why because he's dressed femininely he's dressed like a woman and with a masculine voice, so people are gonna people are gonna question things. People are gonna give looks, and I've been analyzing this right, and like people give me looks all the time, and most of the time they're not friendly. I wish I could explain it so other people could understand, but do you ever just walk in some place and like people will look at you and be like? You, you imagine they're thinking in their head, right? You imagine they're thinking like... I'm waiting for his car to pass by. You imagine they're thinking in their head like, you know, um, what, what the fuck are you doing here? And like, 
it's a sense of not belonging and like do do i need to belong to be happy not necessarily i just don't want to be here period and um i think uh maybe maybe saturday and sunday would have went a lot worse if i didn't have people that i lived with if i didn't have anyone nearby me and like in that situation like i don't know what would this is something I've been struggling with, is the whole, um... You heard me say this before, uh... I don't want to be the only one left. But I realize that's probably what it's going to come down to. And, uh... This is disconcerting, it's worrisome, of course. Um... Uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe, uh... Like, I'm confident I'll think of something to make... To make do with what I have, and I understand I have a lot more than some people do in this entire world. Don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm not ungrateful for it. I'm just, I just don't feel like this is my life anymore. I don't feel like I have a semblance of freedom. I mean, let's take a look at the some more. All right, do you guys see that island down there? Like, everyone in Milford knows that you can actually walk to that island, um... Uh... During one of the tides, the the sand, the beach is like... There's a little pathway you can walk towards there. But the problem is, if you don't know how to swim, you're kind of stuck on the island as the tide changes. And, like, then what the fuck are you supposed to do? Because, like, I think it gets decently deep over there, man. Like, that's, that's kind of far out there. You see those buoys, right? That's, like, the point you're not supposed to go past. At least not as a swimmer, I believe. But, uh, what the fuck do I know? I don't swim, so... I know they give free classes at the Y, but, um... I know I got time for that shit. Yeah, I'm putting a, uh... It's not really a collab, but, but I'm gonna put it in the collab section of, um... I basically... I picked Rainali's brain, and then I was like... This is what I think that song is about. Is that... Is that the right message? And, um... He, he discussed it over a long period of time, one quote unquote long. In, in terms of streamer time, it was a long time. Um, we're talking like a minute here. That's that's valuable minutes for streamers. Uh, no, I, I wouldn't know. I, I'm just bullshitting him. Um, it's quiet. Maybe my picture is being taken right now. Dude, what, what is up with that? Like, I, I just noticed, like, what happened at... Oh, yesterday I was at the YLT. I forgot to mention that. So, yeah, yeah like I was saying earlier, I'm, tr I'm going to try to do a collab with them and, like, build some rapport, you know? But it's going to be really hard if they're corporate. Because if they're corporate, like, they probably don't put up with that shit. And, like, I, I, I'm trying to get to know them and stuff. And, like, you know, like I said, build rapport. But, um, it's hard, man. Like, because... I, I think it's family owned and I think I actually know who among the staff is the manager just by who I see there all the time and like he seems like a cool guy I don't know how good his English is but um he seems like a cool guy and um I don't know man maybe I'm just making a big deal out of nothing but I really do want to get that collab going if I, if I can get it if I can make it happen rather and um the whale tea and if you google it you'll see they have a location in uh new haven i think there's one in um shit i forgot i know there's new haven there's milford and norwalk i, I think there's norwalk one i don't know uh, i gotta look it up later i'm not sure about that um the only two i know of are new haven and milford scary when you shut down like that because like my, my immediate response in that situation is to go to sleep because it just it just makes it so I don't really have to think anymore you know and more importantly I don't have to worry I don't have to have other things occupy my mind that I don't want to at the moment and 
understand that in life there's always going to be certain things that you have to think about because it's right in front of you but I don't know there's a certain uh, allure um, to that's a reference to a movie by the way the fucked up movie but uh, there's a certain allure to just picking up all my shit and just going somewhere like not necessarily permanently but just getting the fuck out of here Maybe I'll become a hitchhiker. That's safe, right? Yeah, yeah. So, someone's gonna harvest my organs. That's safe, right? These birds are fucking loud, yo. Is it mating season? Is it? Is it? Because it's kind of cold out right now. I'm not gonna lie. Like the past couple of days, it was really nice, but um, it's it's been foggy. But like, it's like just now the fog is starting to clear up. Um. I just, um, it's not so much like, it's not so much like, maybe it is, I don't know, it's not so much maybe it is that, um, I just wish I had a purpose, like, I get it that most people's purpose is to just live their life, to be happy with the things they enjoy or and can afford, etc. And for everything else out of your control, it's out of your control. It's getting kind of cold. Yeah, literally holding this hand cam. Hand cam. This hand tripod uh, is making my hands cold. Because it, it's a bit windy. A little bit. If you couldn't tell. Um, it's definitely a cool breeze in the air right now. I wonder if all the people driving by like, was like, what the fuck is that guy doing? Did I, did I make a YouTube video? Like, no, I'm making a Twitch video. No, I'm not. Says scratch that. I'm not. Not. No. Don't. Do not look for me on Twitch. I'm not on Twitch. Relax. I have the name reserved. I will admit that. But there's no fucking content on my page. Relax. Uh, don't stop asking to be a part of the chat because there's no fucking chat, guys. Yeah. You think this is a live stream right now? That is, you think this is a live stream? It's in the recorded section. It's not in the live streams. It's in the recorded section of uh. I, I don't even know where to put this video. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll put it on the many random topics uh, playlist I just made the other day. So now all my sections... <laughs> all my sections on my YouTube page uh, on the channel have equal number of playlists with varying numbers of videos in each. And like, I don't want to say it starts from the most popular to the least popular as in from top to bottom. But like, that's generally how it's looking. And I don't think I did that on purpose, you know? It's having to, it's having to work out that way. Um, That was the house on the left. Uh, so, sorry for the silence. There's there's a there's this girl with her dog. I mean, like, if you're around this area, I don't want to endorse a stereotype, but if you're if you live around this area, like, this, this old couple just gave me a look, man. So I can't even fucking sit here and make a YouTube video without someone giving me a fucking look. But anyway, as I was saying, uh, yeah, you're probably you're probably very well off if you live in this area. You probably have ridiculous insurance considering what happened with uh, Sandy. And um, I believe no, no, it's a, the the woman's house was to my right, not my left. My left behind me is the house that they renovated. And I know this because when they were renovating it and when most of the work was done, that she had a party. And the girlfriend I was with at the time, she noticed the uh, party as well. And um, we were questioning whether we should crash that party or not. Um, we would have stuck out like sore thumbs, I'm sorry, but... Um, uh, not, not that I'm keeping a tally or anything, but uh, most of my exes were uh, were minorities, and 
you can pretty much tell we were minorities. So it was it was fairly obvious. Let me put it that way. How about that? Uh, uh, Finster and uh, Rinaldi are actually streaming right now, and I know it's surprising that I'm not watching them right now. So like, there's people who watch multiple streams together, like even about the same topic. Like I know this one dude, right? He's in like he well he's like a moderator for a lot of channels and um he's he's a cool guy, I mean like I assume it's a guy, I don't know. And um I guess I guess I shouldn't assume things. Dude. Yo man, there's so many fucking people here man. Like I understand it's a nice day, but like it's kind of chilly, man. It's like, did did everyone decide to walk their dog today? I mean, like, what the fuck? I'm I'm not a dog person, so I don't know. I'm I'm not a pet person in general. I, I would love to have pets, uh, but it's just I don't know. It's like it's a lot of fucking responsibility. I don't I don't care if you have a cat and like the cat's fairly independent. You still have to do shit. To like you know take care of them etc what if they get sick you know and there's some horrible pet owners out there i don't know if people know this but like, i'm sure you do but like there's people out there who have pets who should not have pets and that is unfortunate because like that pet might have been might have came from an animal shelter and they, they could have went towards a better home a more healthy loving home and like instead they're fucking stuck with these dumbasses and it's like, I feel bad for the pets, the animals, they're, they, they, they bleed, they experience sadness and happiness. They, I mean, I don't know, maybe we're getting a little off topic here. Uh, has anyone seen the movie Prozac Nation? It has that famous actress in it that whose name s slips my mind. Like she's one of those famous people that like whose name you never remember, but like you recognize her face in multiple movies. But yeah, I was I was talking to um, when I was in Boston. I was talking to um, but technically this was in Boston. It was in a different office. It was close enough to Boston. I took the T to get there, so it was close enough. For you, those of you that don't know, the T is basically a trolley subway kind of thing. But um been a while since I've been on one man um I was discussing this movie with my uh I think she's considered a therapist like I don't I don't know who's a clinician who's a therapist anymore but uh supposedly it's interchangeable so I'm talking about this movie with her and um she sort of revealed to me that it was most likely the actress the story behind the movie she had like um i'll say if i remember correctly and i also agree she had some sort of like if you, if you had to narrow it down to one diagnosis which sometimes you can admittedly but if you had to narrow it down it was probably borderline personality disorder and um she was just fucking toxic yo like she was doing all the shit she shouldn't have been doing i think in the movie she almost dies like just from like i think i think there was an overdose at one point I don't think it's based on a true story, but I just got a message that said uh, Doomsday Gal is um, streaming right now. I know she was, um, I actually caught part of her stream. I, I was missing a lot of them because uh, she was she was going through some health problems and um, she was streaming like mostly only during the day when I was at work. I would get the emails and like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Find a computer somewhere? Like start watching? I'd be like... But I know she was very emotional in this uh, in this video that she did not publish. So she only wanted the people who cared enough to see that video. Unfortunately, I didn't get like the majority of it. Like I only caught like I think a little bit part of the middle, a little bit part of the end. And um, she she's going through some stuff, and like I think things are getting better, thankfully. Um, I think it was pretty bad though at one point like for her to not stream on a regular basis like that 
I, I knew I knew something was something was going on, and most likely it was a bad thing. Um, but like, I was thinking about sending her a message on um, on uh, on Discord. I'm like you know, slide in her DMs, but uh, no, 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 not that. Um, no, just to make sure she was okay, and um, you know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was none of my business. I don't know. I mean, I could, I could have sent a message in chat because I did have some time available too, but it was just, I, I just, you know how it's hard for some people to give empathy or sympathy or whatever I mean it's, it's something I struggle with just like how the other day I was saying something I struggle with again is um I just gave too many second chances and um it's that's definitely something I want to work on and um cause not only is it not fair to me it's, it's honestly not fair to other person or persons either cause like I feel like it gives false hope for both, no, I shouldn't say both, but all sides. All sides involved will get false hope, and the thing about hope is, at times, it can be crushed. Yeah. I see Dragonfly right now. Also another good movie, Dragonfly, also another good movie. Um, uh, my ex in Vegas. My I should just say my Vegas ex, anyway, uh, my Vegas ex, right? Uh, she showed me that movie. I'd never heard of it before. It was a good movie. Though. It was like I can see why she liked it. Like I thought it was good. It, it didn't like blow my mind though. You know, like it didn't change my life so to speak. How about that? Um, it's been twenty minutes of me sitting here on top of this fucking bench. Can you guys see this? That's the bench right there. So many fucking cars are passing by. I like, I should have came here at night, but like then, then I might have had my picture taken and I would have been reported for trespassing. I didn't know they own parts of this beach. I mean, like I, like I don't see the sign that says what the hours are. Like, at, at what point am I trespassing? And at what point am I just enjoying my right as a as a citizen of Milford? Uh, I shouldn't say citizen. I was a resident. Um, do you guys understand? I've been living here for like 25 years and I understand there's people out there who've lived here longer than me, people that I went to school with. There's people everywhere that they've only lived in Milford their whole lives. Now, they might have, um, you know, uh, went to school somewhere else, but uh, so many fucking people, we go, oh, holy shit. Um, um, and like that's all they know which is not a bad thing it's just it's a little bit sheltered obviously but you know I think that's why I took my opportunity to go to Boston was cause I just needed a new experience at that point and um they obviously I was fully aware there was a world outside of Connecticut outside of Milford even outside of Bridgeport but I just wanted to prove it to myself that I can exist in other places relatively happily without relying on anyone, just minding my own fucking business. And like, I'll be completely honest, I, I miss some of my college friends. I mean, I probably only talked to like one of them at this point. And uh, even that's on and off. Um, he, he knows who he is. Um, yeah. Um, it, was, it, was, it was a roommate I had not once but twice. But not consecutively. Somehow we just ended up living together the second time again. And it was... Okay, I'm not going to talk shit. I'm not going to talk shit. But like, like he was disrespected. Let me just put it that way. With the whole living situation all together, he was disrespected. And, like, I had to swoop in. I'm not saying I had to be a savior or anything, but, like, I don't know how I got involved in that. I don't want to call it drama, but, like, I don't know how I got roped into what I got roped into. And, um... God, I 
hope Ryan Holly doesn't do fist check this week. Today, I mean, I so I haven't worked on a submission, and um, uh, I feel like I'm an MMA. I haven't worked on a submission. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have some ideas, and I think they'll work out well. Oh, I should I should wear my Halloween costume, my perennial Halloween costume. If, for those of you that don't know, you just have to check my Facebook or something. You'll find it. Um, my Facebook I've made very exclusive because I just I think I just want to like I don't want to say car compartmentalize my life but just keep my world separate I'm like for me Facebook is like for college and high school that's that's the only thing Facebook is for me now for the rest of life anything else any other time period after in some cases before that that's that's what my YouTube's for and um like people have asked me this a lot like do I one day foresee myself streaming on Twitch it's just it's a completely different beast and I don't people who are not savvy on like like I don't want to say social media, but like just being a content creator, if you can even call me that, I don't know. Um, like it's a completely different beast and everyone thinks it's the same thing. Oh, you just put a camera in front of your face and you go live. Like there's a lot more to it than that, man. Like, I did, I did a couple of test runs like back in the day about um, how to uh, set up my OBS. Um, not only on, on YouTube live streaming, but I I think no, I, I don't think I ever actually streamed even test streamed on um on Twitch because if you look me up, I do have a Twitch username, but obviously I don't really use it. Um, I'm more of a viewer on there than I am a creator. Yeah, some hot girls on there, damn you. Um. I don't know. It's my you, you've caught me at a bad time during my moment of vulnerability. I remember when, like, after Sandy, like, all these rocks were like pushed forward. It was pretty crazy. Like the entire rock wall, like, was it was no longer here. It was just all like they basically rebuilt it. I think, or maybe the the rocks just fell back in place. I have no fucking idea. But um. Here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. You guys see that rock wall and shit? Like, all of this was, like, so, like, submerged. And, like... Like, where where did it go? Did it just fucking go into the ocean or some shit? I'm, I'm not aquatic. I'm, I'm not built that way. Um, yeah. Um, it, I, I'm still thinking about it, how... I was just like I just didn't want to deal with anything at the time I just the best way I could describe it was that I just shut down I just um I think I told myself like maybe if I sleep long enough you know when I wake up I would have forgotten what I was thinking about obviously that doesn't work and um taking a break from a uh, online gambling for a bit and uh I just uh it's not that I don't want to it's just I'm not motivated like I can barely keep up against an impact these days let alone all those other fucking games I'm playing right now I, I really gotta stream something or rather like record or something or like I just, like I said, I feel bad when I don't upload anything for a long period of time. I consider three days a long period of time in terms of the YouTube universe. I just want to follow the algorithm as well. So, Rinaldi was talking about this, right? Like, with the YouTube algorithm, YouTube does not like it when certain content creators move away from their niche. So if your channel is just about like, for example, like um, 
trolling people by pretending to be girl on you know, Omega or whatever. You will only see links to your channel for the Omega related videos, for the femboy videos. Now, like Ronaldo did, if he posts a music video, something he's never done before, uh, at least not on YouTube at least, it's like he gets less attention from the algorithm because he's, he's breaking his niche. And like the, the traffic directed towards the popular femboy videos is not the same as the traffic directed towards that music video. And that's really hard for people to understand. But like it's really simple if you think about it. Like YouTube wants the content that is popular to be only that content. Because you guys got to understand YouTube's a business too. YouTube trying to make money. YouTube has ads. Like, why do you think there's even a monetization category? It's um, like don't don't get fooled by it, guys. Like um, like don't don't sit there and pretend like YouTube has your best interest in mind. Like, they will cancel you in a heartbeat if you fuck up. They will cancel you in a heartbeat, and that's what cancel culture is, I guess. Um. Excuse me why I, my, I drink from my Thai icy. So interesting thing about the the whale teas um Thai milk tea, that's what that was, sorry, um it doesn't have any boba in it. Which is really weird to me because like I thought that was included. It would be cool if there's something to my left that I could focus on, but there's not. Is the sun too bright? I feel like it is shining in my face. Yeah, I should probably head back. I mean, I was wondering if the sun was going to set anytime soon so I could do the heart. The heart with the sun in it. I don't have the other piece of the heart though. Where's the other piece of my heart? Uh, do I have any regrets in my life now that I think about it? I think maybe this is just me being blind, hopelessly blind, hopelessly romantic, hopelessly optimistic. I think everything in my life happened for a reason. And even if shit happens multiple shit happens like in a row like there's gotta be something else out there you know something I can latch on to you know what I mean at least just to ground me and that's not supposed to sound like a bad thing it's just it's something I need that I can have a reason for staying here and like when I'm the only one left, like I'm not sure I want to be here anymore. Like, isn't there something out there besides Connecticut? Of course there is, but do I have an obligation to stay here? It's like, is, like when I'm the only one left, what is is my dad's side of the family gonna come visit me? I mean, like. I mean, that'd be great if they did. I would, I would, obviously their family, I would let them come in. But like, I don't know about that. I mean, I went to a, uh, the cousin I grew up with, his sister was like living in another state at the time. I think there was money reasons involved. But um, she uh, was having like a, uh, not a wedding ceremony, but like the, the Asian part of the ceremony. And, um, um, Like, uh, like everyone there was nice. Um, I think they knew that, like, my dad's side of family knew that my dad's immediate family, we, we, we typically didn't contact each other much. Not, not out of, like, any maliciousness or any malice, but we just... Like, there's long periods of time where I didn't hear from them. 
Like, obviously it's my fault for not reaching out as well. So I'm equally at fault. But, um... Like... I, I obviously know I know it's because they... It's not because they don't care. It's just because, like, with my dad's hearing. And, like, obviously he's not using a fucking phone. So, like... As far as I know, there's... Well, I was gonna say, as far as I know, there's no bad blood, but, um... There's... There's something out there. I'm not gonna go into detail about it, but... Um... My dad's told me some stories about... How how do I phrase this? My dad's told me some stories about how things... Didn't go the way he thought was best. And, uh, I think... As far as I know, I think my dad is the eldest among all his siblings you know my aunts and uncles but um I don't know I mean it's kind of funny cause like my dad doesn't look anything like uh some of my other uh some of the other members of his side of the family and I don't know I thought that I thought it was weird sometimes and uh okay seems like it's quieted down a bit um, so many people and their dogs, man. Fortunately, all of them are leashed, which is nice. Nice, nice to see that some people care. Um, like if a dog has bit into me, I'm gonna gouge his fucking eyes out, man. Like I don't care if it's an animal. If you attack me, like there's no such thing as fighting dirty at that point. Um. Uh, that's what they taught us in the military was that if you feel like your life is in danger there's no such thing as fighting dirty like you do what you have to do to stay alive that's what it comes down to man like and it's true I 100% agree with it you see the you or them like, like what do you want what do you expect I wish there was like a, a a plane going by in the background making like smoke letters. And like I, I could read the message it's sending up there. I really should center the camera, but I don't really feel like it because my hand is getting cold. Um, yeah, I'm getting cold in general. I should probably head home soon. <laughs> Haven't finished my, my Thai milk tea though. Yeah, no boba in a Thai milk tea. It costs extra. Damn, okay. No, I guess it's... it's like just just between us it's it's a little bit i wouldn't say a lot but a little bit more affordable than other places but yeah it's um it's j in general though is it it's it's basically all the same because if you think about it like the way they make those drinks like there's a decent amount of effort involved but in terms of something being healthy i i, I question that i don't know I mean, as long as the place uses real fruits and real toppings and stuff, it's fine. And um, there's plenty of places where I, I've seen the fruit right in front of my eyes. Now, could it still be frozen? Maybe. But, like, you can visibly see it and they wouldn't show it unless they were using it. And I've seen them take out the fruit and put it into drinks there. Um, both at the Whale Tea and um, Ice and Fire, for that matter. But yeah, the whale tea is interesting to me. I'm going to try to become a regular there. And like I said, build some rapport. But um, I'm just worried about the corporate part of it. And I'm like, it wouldn't be a waste of time and money. It would just be, may maybe I could do what I did with Ice and Fire and like do a taste test. But like, the, the whale tea is just, just uh, boba and drinks and stuff. Stuff. Did I just say stuff? Um, it's just, just that stuff. It's not, um... They don't have any, like, you know, ice cream, obviously. They don't have any, like, real desserts or anything like that. Just different kinds of drinks that might have whipped cream or some shit like that on it. Uh, there's quite a range of toppings you can get. Like, popping boba. I, I knew that was a thing, but, like, I didn't... I sort of want to try it now, because I think it would be, like, Pop Rocks. Um, this, this is going to be one-hour rant about for Trumbull Beach. Got, um, 
I gotta unwind, man. Like, yo, I fucking. I was at. This is what I get for not going to the gym at five when, like, I usually do. So, I slept in a little longer. I have no idea why. And I think I was still recovering from the weekend. Um, my work called me into work when I was in midway through my workout at like literally it was like like 8 9 a.m and i'm like they're like do you want to come in for blah 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 which which basically means can you come in early at this time blah 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 which you know i'm not gonna say no to extra hours so whatever but it would have been nice if i could have finished my workout um i yes i understand i can go right now but just yeah i'm just not in the mood um and that's never happened before, honestly. Like, during this stretch of going to the gym, I think yesterday was the second day in a row that I just didn't do anything. In terms of exercise-wise, I just... I, I could have went for a jog. I could have went running. I could have went walking for a crying out loud, but I, um... I wasn't feeling it. And, um... I don't know. I was just very unmotivated this weekend. I just felt so drained and like... I shouldn't say this weekend, no, past weekend. I... I just needed some time to uh, recoup and um, just gather my thoughts, gather my bearings. I... Sorry, carbonation. Is that from the Mookie? Oh my god. Um, if you ask me what happened this weekend, like a lot of stuff happened, but I, it would have been handled a lot better if I just didn't shut down. Like I, I if you ask me what happened, I, I don't know how to answer that. I've never known how to answer that during like down swings, you know? Now, if this was a mood disorder, for example, this would be a down swing. It would just be one of the lows, but I, it was just so unexpected. It was just um, unnecessary. It's kind of, I don't want to say ruined my weekend, but like I definitely could have gotten something else done this weekend that I just didn't have the motivation to. And uh, I think a lot of people don't understand that. Like, it's not my fucking job to explain it to you. I mean, Google. <laughs> is that all I really need to say about it? Is Google. That's all I should say about it. Because honestly, like, if you open up to someone, right? Like, right? Like, about your mental health. And they don't really want to talk about it. But you know there's a reason why they brought it up to you. As As a... As a decent friend and human being, more importantly, sometimes that's a cry for help. Like when when this happened to me, it wasn't. It was just like so you know something is quote unquote wrong, and I'm not gonna explain it to you. But if you wanna quote unquote help, like Google, Google. I mean, like ask ask your doctor, ask. If you see a therapist, ask them, you know, how can I coexist with so-and-so, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you know, you can't, you can't force anyone to care, let me put it that way. I mean, I guess that's what family is, forcing people to care, but. I hope the audio is okay on this shit. It's me talking, unable to use most of this video. This happened before, it sucks. Because uh, you feel like you just wasted your whole fucking time. But I guess maybe this is therapy for some people. I, I've been considering going back to therapy. I mean, um, at least temporarily. I don't know. Because if, if you remember correctly, guys, as you've been following the channel... Um, Typically, I go on an as-needed basis now, depending on, you know, life situations and life's happenings. Like. 
I don't know. It's, it's not even I have a lot of stuff to talk about. Just us. I just don't feel prepared for what I know is coming. And obviously, you can't prepare for things like that. I'm specifically referencing being the only one left. I think. Uh, I, don't know, I think uh, when one or both of my parents pass, I think it'll be, I think it'll be time to consider a will, you know, drafting a will, because like my will 